the program has been able to bring together government, civil society, uh, faith-based organizations, uh, youth groups, community groups, um, including other key stakeholders to discuss the issue of the existential threat of, uh, of climate change and to look at how we can address the issue of climate change and mobility within the region. The program has also been able to build that relationship uh, with key um, stakeholders within the region such as uh, the Pacific Island Forum Secretariat uh, to look at how we can contribute to some of the key uh, policy frameworks that leaders have uh, agreed to such as the Boy Declaration and the framework for disaster resilience and how the activities of the project uh, can contribute to those uh, important policy frameworks that have been agreed by the leaders in the region. The Climate Change Mobility Regional Program is something very innovative in the, in the Pacific. And uh, what we have seen over the last three years, all the UN system, from IOM, ILO, WHCHR, and other organizations all came together to work with the governments, with the stakeholders, to get their perspectives and to unite their voices on this very important topic in the Pacific. And one very important issue also we have done over the years is to bring together uh, Fiji and Tuvalu along with other member states to co-chair a new mechanism, which is a joint working group. And under that kind of a setup, we started developing this regional framework, and which is something we hope that over the next year, it will be part of the Pacific Forum leaders discussion. And then only we'll see the benefit of this engagement. The biggest uh, success of the program has really been, I think, moving from, I guess, the conversation on climate mobility to really defining a clear uh, and laid out process in terms of how to move that towards a regional framework. Um, under the guidance of the Joint Working Group on Climate Mobility that's chaired by the Government of Fiji and the Government of Tuvalu and together with the support of all the Pacific Climate Change Migration Human Security Program partners, uh, what we've really been able to do is uh, support the drafting of a regional framework on climate mobility and, and this has been uh, something that is, is really defined and underpinned by the key concepts of human security. So, in, in other words, what that means is that this regional framework really tries to combine the key elements of um, top-down protection but also bottom-up uh, empowerment. Uh, and through that process, we've really tried to also work with governments and a range of different stakeholders, communities, to make sure that their voices are heard during this process. Climate mobility is a very sensitive issue in the context of the Pacific, and therefore um, different governments have different approaches to this issue. Um, one of the key impacts of the program is the fact that it has helped to reinvigorate discussions and also helped to um, elevate the, uh, the regional um, acknowledgement and discussion on, on this particular issue uh, to where we are now in terms of uh, working towards the development of a new uh, regional framework on climate mobility. Second is the, the fact that the program has helped to organize a series of uh, webinar consultations with, with governments and different stakeholders uh, in the last couple of years. This has helped to ensure that information is shared and also um, people are aware of the importance of this issue that we are not asking them to move, uh, we are asking them to prepare for the worst case scenario. One component of that was working on a policy brief with IOM that essentially tries to summarise how does labour mobility relate to climate change because it's a bit of an emerging field in the world of climate mobility and I think that's an area where it's really important to illustrate the possible links. So that policy brief uh, summarises the kind of field, um, the state of knowledge on this topic and also formulates initial recommendations uh, in that area. We now have the joint working group on the uh, climate mobility framework 
that was established under this program and that in itself um, is quite a remarkable achievement and impact and both co-chaired uh, and ably led by Fiji and Tuvalu and with their leadership we now have a process and a platform to actually build and ensure that the Pacific region and the world has a, um, has, has a framework that will definitely look after the needs and interests of people who will be having to move in the near future and also a um, working toolkit uh, and guidelines to assist national governments consider the various options available to them. The first is progress made with the discussion of the topic of climate change and mobility. Um, unpacking what that means to communities, uh, CSOs, governments um, and practitioners in the hope that better human rights protection can be achieved for anyone moving either temporarily or permanently in the context of climate change. Uh, and over the last two to three years, um, we've added to that conversation, um, you know, and, 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 and I think the impacts um, have been, you know, most recent developments in terms of uh, uh, our leadership at the region uh, having more, I would say, um, attention given to the topic um, and also at the community level.